Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can take a picture and then instantly print out a receipt with a QR code that you can then scan with your phone and view your image online. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into Darkroom. And um, first thing you'll need is, of course, Darkroom Core um, 9.2 or higher. You'll want uh, to be logged into an event gallery account. So I'm logged into event gallery right here. Um, the next thing, you'll set up your camera. Right now my camera is set up using wireless and I have videos on how to use a wireless camera uh, or you can set up, you know, just um, connecting uh, using a USB cable tethered. Um, so we have our camera I'm using the hot folder and then I have auto print set to print um, a credit card size to, and I'm using a Epson T88 style receipt printer um, but I have it set to print a uh, credit card size and it's applying a template and then also I have it uploading automatically to event gallery so whenever it prints out the receipt the image is already at uh, event gallery and it's shareable at that point so um, the way to build this template and we'll go ahead and uh, build it. Th this template's real simple. It's just an image with a logo on it, um, similar to what you see here. Um, but if we go to our templates, I have this uh, template laid out and you can see it's set up for a credit card size vertical. I have my logo. I have a QR code, and this is uh, this is the tricky part. So, when you upload to a gallery, you want to select the gallery, and then select an image, and I'm gonna copy this right here just to test it. JPG just to make sure you're getting that folder correct so what you would do is copy everything from the file name back and then if you go to darkroom here you're gonna paste in that file name or that path and then you're gonna use insert special text and select file and it's gonna add a little space right there go ahead and remove that um, and that will automatically update with the file name each time you take a picture uh, so this code will then um, link to that correct image and then I also added some uh, additional information like file um, which is the file name again uh, catalog order number time um, just for uh, if somebody came back and for some reason it wasn't working we can find the image um, but that is the template and I'll try to have a version of this template available so you can see and download and uh, modify it to match up with your uh, you'll have to change this information right here so that it links to your site and your event so we have that template and then uh, we just add that to the auto print under camera options auto print you double click on the print and then add the template here and that's how you get it to automatically print otherwise it will print out a, a picture similar to this on a receipt printer so um, and you can also have it print a 4 by 6 as well at the same time and if um, adding a receipt printer is not within your budget or just not something you necessarily want to do you can also just do a uh, let's say a 4x6 
print and add a template like like this one and I'll show you that one in just a second and so whenever I take a picture it'll print out and on the actual 4x6 it has a QR code that they can scan let's look at that so this one's made for the uh, perforated media that's perforated at the 2 inch mark so whenever it prints out it'll print a square image and you gotta remember it's gonna crop so you have to crop in camera and it's gonna center crop so uh, you're gonna lose either uh, uh, an inch on each side or an inch on the top and bottom depending on the orientation but um, this would use the, the perforated 4x6 media with uh, the perforation at the 2 inch mark and then they have an image they can tear it and save this and you might want to add some contact information just in case to this down here uh, but that would be uh, another option or you could just make it a a 4x6 and just have the barcode kind of in the bottom corner and then remove all this other stuff oh, so I almost forgot uh, how do you add this printer uh, so it is not directly supported this is the printer I'm using it's not a directly supported printer so that means we need to add it as a Windows printer so you'd go into um, Windows and click add printer and make sure you install the drivers and you can see I have uh, that printer right there added in Windows so in darkroom I already have it added let's go ahead and just remove it and I can show you um, so we're going to click add printer and then go to windows printers and it'll show all the different windows printers I have installed and there it is right there and then we'll just want to make sure that the page size is set to credit card so it matches up with the print in the template and then that's it so uh, it'll this printer will only accept um, page uh, the page size of credit card so you don't have to worry about your 4 by 6 is trying to go to that printer so just a few different options uh, but if you're curious on one I'm, I'm using a wireless camera I have um, a video on setting up a wireless camera using the um, uh, hot folder if you go to darkroom support.com and uh, search um, hot folder camera or Wi-Fi it should pull up the article and then if you're curious on this guy this is a little flick button I have a video on my personal channel uh, talking about how to use this and actually how to capture in raw edit your image go through Lightroom and then into darkroom a few more complicated steps but if you're a raw photographer um, I'll, ha I'll have a link uh, in the description for that um, that's what that was for um, but if this was helpful, please uh, comment below on how you're going to use it. Or uh, if it's a little bit too complicated, you can go ahead and say that. That's okay. Um, and uh, But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.